Yes, today I would like to introduce the Arcturix Light Down Jacket. As expected, this is made by Arcturix, so it is of good quality, but please wait a moment. This item is called the Cerium Jacket, and it was originally called the Cerium Lieutenant. Wow, I had never heard of it, so I didn't know, but if you know, you might think, oh, I see, it's an evolved version of the LT. It's called the Cerium Jacket Blanket. As you can see, it's a light down. Speaking of Arcturix, it has a name that sounds like something from a manga or anime that you all know. So, there was the Atom, the one from Ona Stain. So, when it comes to thin down or innerwear, I had the image that it was definitely Adam, but actually there is also a round jacket called Cerium, so I would like to try it on now. Well, the size is the usual size. I'm 178 centimeters tall and wear a size M, so this isn't a jacket that you can wear oversize. So it's best to wear it in your usual size, and I'll explain why later, but generally speaking, I'm 178 centimeters tall, and Sasan is well known for being 178 centimeters tall, so we're exactly the same height but Sa San actually graduated from Kyoto University. He's a really smart guy, and he's pretty tall and well-educated, and I don't know what it means to have a high income, but it was actually surprising that Tyra San was in the third grade of high school, so it was actually surprising that he had the potential to be tall, well-educated, and high income, and I would like everyone to know that through this Cerium jacket, that was Saza San's information, and I think it's just right. Also, when it comes to coming up from above, if you're in the middle, I think M is the best size. If we make it any bigger, the goodness of this Cerium jacket will be lost, so we're not sure, but this is actually a hybrid type. It's a hybrid type with both down and lining, and the down is this kind of cotton. It contains this kind of cotton that you all know, and it's like this, and it's soft, or rather, it's filled with fluffy cotton and this is the seat lining, so doesn't it look completely different from the outside? It's certainly completely different, but when you get inside the night, you can't really tell at a glance what's used where, but that's also well thought out. They've thought about not using down in unnecessary places, and conversely, it's better to use lining here, so it seems like Arcturix is good at using things like that, and this time, the down isn't just any kind of down, it's 850 fill white goose down. So, this is the white down this time, and it's also white goose down, but with down, there are gray ones too. So it's quite difficult to get only white down, but the price is a little higher in the quality. Well, the difference in quality isn't that much, but it looks nicer, and there aren't many outdoor brands that use goose down that are that particular about it. It's mostly duck. North and Patagonia don't really use this kind of goose down. When you think about it, North uses 900 fill down, and for example, Montbell uses 1000 fill down for their Ignish down, but in terms of the quality of the down, this goose down is generally of higher quality. So, even if there is a line filler in one part of duck, the rest of the grain may be small, but if you do it in a booth, the whole thing is grained, and the large down is what gives it high warmth. So, of course I love filler, but I've been saying over and over again that whether it's goose or duck is very important, like a goose YouTuber. But I think the good thing about this Arcturix Cerium jacket is that it's not like that with other people. And yet, if you do something like down, it will gather together, right? This side metal part, the parts that would gather together, like the katana, have been changed to the middle edge. And you can see this if you look at it. If you touch this shoulder part with the fabric like this, it's completely inside. I wonder if people who know will understand. So, this part of this person is completely down, but down and the inside are different. When you pinch it like this, it becomes thin and doesn't return. Down doesn't return its elasticity. So, if you do this, the elasticity will come back even if you do it like this. In that case, this is the inside, and where is this used? It is mainly the shoulders and the armpits. It is used in the armpits. So, what I want to say is, you can see especially the armpits. This heat accumulates, and it gets a little too hot with down. So, by making this the middle part, the actual power is a little lower in the middle, so it turns the disadvantage of low sound power into an advantage, and improves breathability. It's really thoughtful of Arctech, and if you do this type of part, the most important thing is that when you wear a backpack like this, this part is always sealed, so it gets hot. So it was made with such times in mind, and since this was originally designed to be used in mountainous areas and such, it is of course designed for when you wear a backpack, so it is warm but does not get crowded. It has been left out of the key areas where it is unnecessary. So you're wondering if there was such a wonderful down jacket, and there was. The North Face also has something similar. This one also uses Primaloft as the inner layer and down. This down is a little lower quality than the Cerium jacket. But I think this one is better inside. 
The reason is that the core loft in the cerium jacket used by Arcturix is made by Arcturix. But the Primaloft here is a brand that is used by the US military and the like. This one doesn't use Nakahata's brand. So if you want quality, this one is better, or if you want quality inside, this one is better, but it's not that simple, and I don't really know where the inner layer is used for this one. Maybe it's a mix. So I don't really know what's used where, so I think it's not just Nakahata's fabric, but a mix of everything. So it's a jacket that I don't really know why it's used inside. That's why it's become this impromptu jacket. This one is. I bought a 900 volts north light down jacket, but it went somewhere. So, these light jackets are really easy to carry. They're said to be light and nimble, but it really went somewhere light. So, everyone, please be careful around your jacket. I don't know where it went either, but, you know, it'll come out a year later. But I realized that it's about time to move this office. So, if you try something else, it's easy to move in. No, no, no. You might think that it's obvious that it's easy to move in, but it's not. That's what I thought. When I bought a cheap jacket, I thought it was so hard to move in. And, no, no, no. You might think that's an exaggeration, but for example, there are workmen and teon and things like this. This is workmen. The fabric is overwhelmingly hard. And the fact that the fabric is hard means that it is difficult to bend. So, if you think about it, it would be nice if the fabric was only on the elbow part. But you can't ask that much from workmen. And you can't ask that much for body temperature either. It's reasonable to say that it's Uniqlo. So it's not possible to make it so soft and easy to move in. But in this case, the outer fabric is 15. And by making it a thin fabric, it makes it easier to bend and move around. And the weight itself is 300 grams. So it's hard to tell whether it's worn or not. So if you think about it based on this, it feels like it's going down a lot. So if you've been driving a Lexus, BMW, or Mercedes, the moment you suddenly get into a light car, it's going to shake all over the place. So humans don't really know when they're getting better, but they can really tell when they're getting worse. When you think about it, there are fewer complaints when it comes to this price. It's not just that it's hard to move in, but it's not just red. Well, you can do a lot of activities with it, and it's made so that you don't feel stress no matter what you're doing. So I think that's what the line is about, and this cerium jacket is designed to be well thought out, so then there's the price. So, how much does it cost? It's 64,900 yen. At this point, Arcturix is already on the celebrity line. Can the average person buy a 60,000 yen jacket? I can't. It's already a celebrity line, and it's already celeb Turix. It's already celeb. Well, this time, it might be a bit of a downer because it's not rolling well. But anyway, it's expensive. But it's worth it because of the quality. And it's easy to move in. And it's made so that you don't feel stressed. Even when it's hot, it doesn't feel like you're in a group. So there's nothing bad about it. Of course, that's true. But to be honest, from my personal opinion, I don't think most people need it. I'm not saying that the 850 isn't necessary. But this atom is easier to handle. There are people who often misunderstand that if the filler is high, it's overspec. But if the filler is high, it's fine. So, why is that? There is this kind of humidity. If humans come here like this, they'll get hot, right? I bring it here and it's hot. Ion and things like that get hot. But if you have a down umbrella, it absorbs the moisture. Down umbrellas are low. In short, a down jacket with low fill power doesn't absorb moisture. So it continues to gather, so in this case, the armpits and other parts are deliberately switched inwards to prevent them from gathering. But with a down jacket with high fill power, there's no need to do that in the first place. And even if you put down all over it, it absorbs human moisture and heat, so you can stay comfortable, which is why a down with high fill power is better. So, people who say that a down with high fill power is over spec are just saying that because they don't know much about it, and normal people probably don't understand. But if you have such high fill power, honestly, there's not much need to switch it. And even if you switch the armpits and shoulders, you can't wash it, right? And if it doesn't come out, it's fine to wash it in this atom. And I think that's what everyone thinks. So, let's go to Adam once. This one has a hood, so the shape is a little different. But this one is easier to handle. After all, it can be washed in the washing machine. So, you don't have to worry about getting it dirty. But this cerium is a bit difficult to wash. And, getting wet on a rainy day is a big deal. So it's better not to get it wet too much. Well, that's fine, but the thinness of 15 denier is the biggest factor. But there is a possibility of down coming out. If you think about the fact that the thinner it is, the easier it is to get it out, you'll realize that him is really excellent, as expected. So for general pinboilers like us, let's start with Adam. So, what kind of people would cerium be recommended? It's really made for people who climb mountains or go to mountainous areas. So the best environment is to be outside and move around. 
Those are the two things. It's not enough to just be outside, and this is extremely suitable for people who are outside and moving around. The reason is that when you're outside, down is lighter, isn't it? So, of course this cerium is better. And yet, I said it's better to wear it on a boat, and the pattern on the side is also very well made. So it's designed to keep heat in, so even if you're told you shouldn't shovel snow in light clothing, you won't be cold if you go out like this, because the pattern fits your body well, and you can feel the thickness of the down, and you can feel the height of the down, so you can move around outside. So, although it's limited, I think it's a light down jacket that will appeal to a certain type of person. I think it could be used for everyday scenes like shoveling snow, or for walks, but people who go to the mountains probably don't watch this channel much. They go on adventures or go to the mountains. People like that don't watch it, and they watch mountain climbing channels, so I think that's the only way we can use it for our purposes, but on the other hand, I think it would get hot in a car like this. The reason is that the back and other parts are filled with down, and yet, the pattern is made to fit the body nicely. So it's already a little hotter just by being in this room. So, if you think about it that way, the fact that it's not warm inside actually works to your advantage. This one can be used in a wide range of temperatures. As for the cerium one, when the temperature becomes suitable, of course you can put on an outer layer on top and it can really be used in a rain jacket. On top, there's Arcturix, which is really Celebturix, but with Celebturix, I think it can go from about 0 degrees to about 10 degrees. But if you take this out, then if you can go up to about 10 degrees, that's all you have, to put it the other way around. However, this Atom jacket is better for temperatures from 5 degrees to 15 degrees, and if you wear it up and go closer to 0 degrees, it will expand a little more, so I think it will be more versatile. That's my personal opinion. Well, if I had to say one thing, it's the quality is unmistakable. I think it's perfect. So, if you ask how many people will use this jacket, I'd say I'll stop using Celeb Turex this time. It's not Celeb Turex, but General People Turex, so it's Adam Turex. I think Adam Turex is better for people who want to use Adam Turex. But in the end, Adam is one of the three types of people that Arcturex is known for. No matter what jacket you compare it to, it always comes up when it's Arcturex. It's the Arcturex Adam 9 Air Jacket, the Bea Jacket, and the other one. I forgot what it was, but I think it was a backpack. I forgot what it was, but I was saying three types of people. So, in that case, this will appeal to those who are into it. But it may not appeal to those who are not, but it is a very well thought out jacket that you can't use. It's not a blanket, but because it's well thought out, it's only suitable for those who fit that way of thinking, and that's what made it the Saren jacket. But maybe some people would say that this North Face ride down jacket or Patagonia's light down jacket is better. So if you're asked which one you like, then please buy your favorite brand. There's not much difference at this point. However, each brand has their own way of thinking. So I think it might be possible to compare them, so I'm thinking about doing that later. So today's video is an introduction to the Arcturix light down jacket. See you again in another video. Thank you. Ah.